I just uh, got my hands on uh, Waves Element. It's a new, well, the first synth from Waves. Uh, people have been not too uh, impressed by it, but you know, it's a it's a good start. Uh, it's really it's really nice in uh, 2013 that they're uh, pursuing uh, instruments now. Uh, their emulation of uh, vintage gear. Uh, outboard analog gear is top notch in my opinion and you know I use it a lot uh, but you can only imagine what they'll uh, be making uh, next in terms of uh, instruments um, this is kinda kinda bare bones I, I take it it's a it's a test to see reactions um, you know they've won uh, technical Grammys uh, and they probably have the funds to um, you know license emulations of uh, other gear uh, say uh, like the Moog Voyager or you know we can we can hope or maybe some of the older Oberheim uh, OB forget what it is uh, Van Halen used it quite a bit there's some there's some things that uh, would be very difficult to emulate uh, but yeah, they want to be in the instrument headspace, and that's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, so I loaded this up. I put a basic sequence down there, um, and I proceeded to just play around with oscillator one and two. It's uh, uh, quote unquote virtual voltage technology, um, which could be a buzzword probably, uh, but. Uh, it sounds pretty nice. Here's what I made. That's something you, you know, you make with a Euro rack uh, after a little bit of patching. It's pretty exciting. Um, uh, people say, oh yeah, this won't replace um, my Silent One or Massive. I think it's it's different. It it approaches it in a different way. Um, it has, you know, your modulation. It it basically uh, compacts um, analog, well, true like modular analog stuff into a new a newer package, which I really appreciate. Um, Usual suspects oscillator one and two with mix, uh, and then you got your sub bass. You can't choose. Um, your sub bass, I believe it's sine. Um, your noise, you can't really uh, choose your color or your ring modulation. Um, yeah, I would have, I would have moved um, uh, legato and portamento down here. It's a little confusing to go back and forth. I like um, to set, you know. Well, that's how I would design it. I make this a little bit longer. Um, you got your voltage control filter, your uh, four filter types. They self oscillate. It's pretty nice um, with your um, uh, ADSR controlling your voltage. Uh, you got your two slopes. Uh, distortion, you know, kind of. It's not too bad, I guess. Um, it doesn't really do much in a crusher. But the distortion would be um, just like overloading or like circuit emulation and whatnot. Uh, simple delay, reverb, and chorus. Nothing too exciting here. Again, I think this is a good start. Uh, you got your four LFOs, um, independent LFOs, and then your modulation matrix, which goes around. You can uh, you can have an extra envelope to uh, affect other things. Which is nice, and your EQ, and I like this. I like uh, the the extra filters down here, so you can kind of move that independent from you know everything else. The EQ, I haven't played around with that yet, and uh, just basic ARP and uh, sequencer, and your different options there. Yeah, so let's. No, I don't know. Let's uh. Let's fully reset. 
I haven't checked out any of the presets yet. Uh, one thing that bothered me is um, they had a demo of a guy using the synth to make a track, and he really shouldn't have made the track to begin with. It, it really didn't sound too impressive. Um, I forget his name, Spike Stent or whatever. Uh, not knocking him, he's a good engineer, but, you know, making 80s music is not really a selling point of this kind of synth. So, right now what we'll do is we'll set it to four. Oops. And your swing. Swing's nice, too. Uh, let's... So, this is what I'd use it for, just uh, kind of, you know, dirt under the fingernails and log kind of mucking about. Um, not, not really, you know, using it like I would another synth, using it in a completely new way. So, I would... Sign mod, I like that. It's, uh, again, I, I believe it's sign. I wish you, uh, I wish, I'd like to see maybe um, just an extra sub oscillator you can choose that's not just sign. Uh, maybe saw or triangle or whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds uh, pretty neat too. Move it down to one voice. And uh, your pulse width of your square sounds pretty nice too. You can you can kind of you can you can kind of sorry you can kind of hear the capacitors in there just kind of struggling. It's pretty nice. I'm not sure what these do. Um, I should have looked at the manual first. I think this goes from a. Volg uh, voltage control oscillator to a something DCO. I don't know. Cut off, cut off this filter. It has an FM section, and I think that'll kind of add jitter and imperfections. I don't know. You can add a bit of drive, uh, an overdrive, say an op amp ish type thing. Pre and post. You know, this begs to be used in uh, techno music or uh, minimal or maybe even tech house, who knows? Try some fun things. We'll modulate. Da, 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 da. Oscillator one pitch to LFO one and the rate. 
that. Let's modulate oscillator to three. So we can sync that. Will you do that? Yep. this just is an intuitive way to get those uh, sounds you'd hear from a from a lunchbox or a euro rack modular synth or something you built yourself without dealing with patch cables uh, the the moog modular you can do things like this but not uh, this kind of intuitive in my opinion so Let's LFO four. Do noise and we'll do that one one. There you go. evolving texture I don't know unison I'd like to see a unison option too I don't know and one thing here is you can turn the HD off to kind of save on processing Reset once again. Oh, arm that. The HD really does make a difference. Um, there's more of an overtone. Uh, I, I assume there's some high frequency content that's in there, and I'll do really quickly. Drop an oscilloscope. I should have prepared. I should really use this with an oscilloscope. So, yeah, before I get too distracted, that's it for now. I'll be back.